Okay, Joel, what, uh, what are we seeing here? What's this? So, you may have wanted to use Ethereum, and um, this is really the way you have to do it. It's the Aleph Zero Ethereum client running on OS X. So, it is currently mining Ether. Which, do you know which version is this? Is this the, the POC build? Yeah, it's the latest one. So you're saying it's mining, it's mining ether. How how do we see that? Why? Well, you can tell that because this is highlighted, and so that's ah. So there's the mine toggle, and as soon as you start it, it will uh... exactly. Yeah, and in the bottom you have the the log, the event log. Mm hmm Committing to mine. Now you're getting rich. Well, not very rich, or at least not very quickly, but. Where yeah. where's where's your where's your balance? Where's the where's the money going? Um, it looks like right here is what we've got. So, but we also see it down here in the in the bottom bar. Fifteen hundred finny, uh, zero peers. You're not connected to the network. Well, I was, yeah, and then it crashed. And it connecting with the peer, yeah. Okay. So that, and what okay. what does that mean? So you there was a there was an IP address and a port number. I think that yeah. was one of the the peer servers. To, right, to connect exactly. to, right. So if you if so you started there's some there's a little bootstrapping protocol, you have it connect to one server to start with, and I think this is uh, automatically pre-filled. Mm -hmm. Then you connect, you clicked on the connect button, and it starts connecting to first to that node, and then through that node, it will connect to multiple uh, multiple peers. That's right. Right so now you're connected to five peers, which you see at the bottom uh, at the bottom right. And right now I don't have any money. So it looks like I had money only when I wasn't connected. So, so how? Why is that? Why is that? Why? why what, what happened? Um, I assume it had a default sort of wallet that was not the real wallet, and then when it checked the server, it discovered that I actually didn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the it was looking for the longest blockchain, and your local blockchain was was less than the one that uh, the the current uh, network has. Uh, uh, is running so now there are 6977 blocks uh, which you can also see at the bottom right and also in the block pane mm -hmm. and because the network had a longer uh, blockchain uh, than you i guess it would have uh, gone with uh, with that status now i'm really mining now you're really mining yeah so it's committing so let's see if you can actually get some uh, some finis committing to mine of course you're not the only one mining at this point so it might uh, it might take a bit longer to uh, to get some. So so while we wait for that, let's see what the other panes are about. So on the on the top left, there is the the three three four buttons: enable network, connect to peer, preview, and mine. Right. With enable network, you can uh, disconnect. <laughs> can disconnect. Looks like. I think if you have your port forwarding uh, set up correctly, as soon as you enable it, you will get incoming connections from the network. Uh, but you might be behind a, a net network risk translation. So I'm actually a bit confused about this. It looks like really you want to click enable network first, then connect to peer. I think connect to peer also connects uh, enables the network automatically. Yeah, right. Okay, so now you're connected again. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the what does the preview uh, do? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what you can do with preview is if you want to submit a transaction, you can see basically how contracts would respond to it without s broadcasting it to the network. And then if you unclick it, you will basically un undo that uh, that connection, or that uh, that transition. Uh, so I think. Oh, so when it's on preview, I have money again. And the mine the mine button we already uh, discussed. So now it should be uh, it should be mining again. Then below, so there's the the transact pane mm -hmm. with the the two. It says create contract, mm -hmm. but you can type or you can paste an address there. Uh, and if you leave it empty, you will create a new contract. Right. Um, and pretty much everywhere in the in the interface, if you double click on the address, it will automatically copy it to the clipboard. So then you can uh, can paste it uh, mm -hmm. elsewhere without having to type a lot of uh, digits. Right. So then there's the amount. How much you wanna you wanna send? Mm -hmm. And you can drop down the, the currency units. I'm not sure what's up with the mining. You're not uh, you're not getting much. 
I'm not a very good miner here, so that's pretty disappointing. Oh, you didn't buy the latest Ethereum ASIC uh, hardware? You know, they keep telling me they're going to do proof of proof. Proof so. of proof, there you go, yeah. So I'm going to have to solve these complicated mathematical formula. Okay, so that's the, the top left pane, the transact. Oh yeah, and then there's the data field, and there you can uh, enter just payload for your for your transaction. Mm -hmm. Or in case you want to create a new contract, you can put in the, the, the EVM code there. Mm -hmm. And then, well, you need some money to be able to send. But then I guess the, the send button will in gray and you can actually make the, the transition. Mm -hmm. Owned accounts, it shows one. That's your current, the, the E7A91FF4. That's your current uh, account. Right. But you can actually create multiple accounts if you want. And then new address. It will create a new address for you. So now you have mm -hmm. multiple addresses. Mm -hmm. And I believe you can drag and drop uh, the, the order to, to identify to which one, the, or which one will be used as Coinbase for the, for the mining. I'm guessing that um, I can't get rid of them right now. No, I don't think you can, uh, you can delete them. So then on the, on the top right, there's the all accounts. So basically that's the overview of all the accounts that are there in the Ethereum network. Should we try making that larger, or, or is it too much of a risk? No, well, let's risk it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's some people who are a lot richer than I am already. Right, exactly. So you can already, I think if you double click on one of these, mm -hmm. then you can paste it in the on the left in the transact two. Doesn't look like it to me, but oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you need you still need some actual ether to to be able to send. So then wow. below the, I think you closed the 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 pane, didn't you? Uh oh. Um, I get it back somehow. <laughs> so how do you get it back? That's a, that's a common question. So if you right mouse click on the on the the top pane right to the, to the mine there, you can uh, get it back. Okay. Pending and all accounts. Not sure where the all accounts is going. Yeah, I can't see it anymore. So, can I close? That's there good. it is, right. And then you can try to have a docked again by dragging it to the. Ah, wow. There you go. Amazing. Okay, uh, so then below that, there was at some point before you removed it, there was the network uh, pane. <laughs> All right, we need the network. Sorry. There you go. So there you see what other peers you're connecting to, uh, which version you are they are running. Mm -hmm. Maybe just uh, the move it out of here and, and, and increase the size a little bit so we can look at what's there. So you see what are, what are what are the other nodes and also the the, the version and the, and the type of the clients. Mm -hmm. And what you can do yourself with ideal peers on the bottom, you can specify how many peers you should be connected to. I think I think that's more like a guideline. So but it, it, especially at startup time, you might be connected to more than than whatever the amount is that you specify. Mm -hmm. um, what you can also do is you can also specify your client name. So that's also good for debugging purposes. So other people can see which one is the is the the ether the LF zero client from uh, Joel, and which one is the one from Joris, etc. But to be able to do that, you need to first uh, disconnect from the network, and then you can modify uh, can modify the setting. And of course, you can also change the port that your uh, your client is listening to. Um, what were the other pains? Looks like we have a contract pain. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. So if you uh, increase it a little bit. So to the, uh, it has two sections. So to the left, you see all the contracts that are there in the network, and then the the balance that the contract has. 
Um, I'm not sure what the number means. Maybe it means the amount of storage positions that are taken. Mm, uh, we, we can confirm that uh, later on. Yeah, there you go, I guess. And then there's one with one. Mm, yeah. So on the on the right hand side, on the top, you have the the byte code for the contract. And mm -hmm. some contracts don't have any any byte code. I think they're just uh, some 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 tests. Uh, can you click on the one with the, the number two at the end? So the three one C, and there you go. So here we see the bytecode for the contract, and then on the bottom, below the the bold stuff, you first have the the at zero x, and then the uh, a long hexadecimal string, mm -hmm. and that is the key. And then after that, on the same line, or actually on the next line, you have the the zero x one b b three three. That is the value associated with that. So those are the key values in the contract storage in uh, hexadecimal format. So if you were to create your own uh, subcurrency in Ethereum, you could store the, the accounts there as key and then the value as, uh, as value there. But of course, to, there's, no, there's not a user interface to this yet. So you would have to convert it back from hexadecimal to, to decimal or to whatever your your unit is uh, manually at this point, but I think at some point we'll get uh, multiple uh, multiple use interface for these uh, for these contracts. Um, oh, you got some uh, some finis. Whoa! Did you see that? I see. Excellent. Was, so what is, so what happened here? So let's look in the log. If you scroll down, mind there you go. So you mind the block. Mm. And you got uh, 1500 Finny as a reward. I'm pretty happy. And we should also see this in the block pane as well. So somewhere there is the block pane. Mm -hmm. So I think I lost it again. Yeah, just. No, well, where'd it go? There it is, over here. Oh, you can dock them like double dock. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> So here you see the blocks and you mind the 3E, the top one, exactly. So can you drag this one out and, and uh, increase the size a little bit so we can see what is... Uh... Oh, what just happened? In now stock to the left, yeah. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to get it in the center. <laughs> okay, so we have the list of the blocks here. So you mind block uh, 7427. Yeah. And it has the, well, the block ID, I guess. 3E89, etc. Mm -hmm. And then you have the uh, the timestamp when it was mined. Yeah. Uh, I think somebody just mined another block, so that's why it refreshed. Yeah. So can you bl click on your own block again, the one below? Yeah. So you have the the DTD. That is the the difficulty and the time. And that also is shown in the bottom of your the status bar of your clients. So there's the at twenty four t thirty six. That is also the difficulty that is currently going on in the in the network. Um, then children one, I think it means that there was just, I don't know, there were no transactions. So I'm not sure why it says children one. But what's interesting, the Coinbase, that means that that is the account that got rewarded for mining this block. And that is your, uh, your, 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 private, your private account that you have set. Yeah. Okay, so then we have some, some other References to the state, to the, the well, what is the in incremental nonce, how many transactions were included, and how many uncles are, are there as well. I'm not even sure all these things are, are being used. Mm. So maybe we can now try to, to send an actual transaction to, uh, to somebody. All right. Or, or maybe send it from your, from your E7 account to your 4.2 account. Oh, I've lined another one. Yeah, you're getting rich. 
I guess if I'm sending it to myself, maybe I can be generous. Is there some way to copy that? Double click should copy it. Yeah. There you go. That's right. Is this going to work? Yep. Do it. So did it work? I don't know. Maybe. So there's this, this uh, pending pane. Okay. I don't see. Or, oh, pending. Yeah, we need the pending. Where are you pending? Can't find it. Do you see it? No. <laughs> 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 Should come be here. Come back pending. Well, I don't know what to say, Doris. I think this is a work in progress. <laughs> uh, oh! There we go. There we go. What, what, how did you get it back? I just clicked a bunch of times. <laughs> Eventually, I came up. <laughs> Okay, so you see you made a transaction from the E7 to 4.2 of yeah. uh, 1,000 Fini, but it's still pending, so it isn't yet part of any mined block at this okay. uh, at this point. Um, uh, I'll just point out that there's a fee, right? So that, uh, we yeah. should probably say something about these names because uh, they're a bit complicated or confusing, and I don't know how to pronounce them either. Maybe you do. <laughs> Uh, Ether, Fini, Zabo, Y. Okay. What about this one? How do you pronounce that one, George? I guess Mega Y. Mega Y. Kilo Y, Giga Y. Okay. Giga so the y. smallest, the smallest amount is 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 Y. So that is. Uh, You're sure that's the way you pronounce it? Well, I, I'll. Let's let's make it the way you pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> we are making this video and we make the rules. Okay, good. There you so go. There you I, go. That's the spirit. Okay. So there's so, this uh, so there's this crypto researcher researcher. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot his first name, but he has uh, Y as his last name, so that is why it was named. It was named after him. Well, if it's standard Mandarin Chinese, I happen to know some of it, and it's probably Wei. Wei. Okay. <laughs> Wei. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. So, so fin Finny is a reference to uh, to Hal Finny. Right. And Zabo to uh, Nick Nick Zabo. Okay. That and doesn't then, make it easier to pronounce, but I, it does give me some context. Yeah. So it's good. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to have helped our little transaction here, which is still pending. <laughs> I guess we have to wait for another block. Is that I think right? somebody, I mean, probably you're the only one mining at this point. So uh, you just need to be lucky to uh, to find find the next block here. Uh, well, if I had an ASIC, it would be faster, right? Uh, while we wait for this, are there any other paints that we haven't seen yet? Yeah, good question. Settings. Well, I don't know. Blockchain we've seen, contracts we've seen, all kinds we've seen, network lock is on the bottom. Oh, for lock, that's interesting. So on the bottom, the right, there's this little, uh, how do you call that? Scroll bar. Scroll bar thingy. The, uh, yeah. Where you can set the, the verbosity of the of the lock. So if you set it way to the bottom, then it, it is not very verbose. And if you uh, drag it up, it, the logging will be much more, much more verbose. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So probably just leave it at the bottom, otherwise uh, the screen starts blinking. Okay, so we sent that. What else do we have here, Doris? Anything in particular? Settings we had. Settings. So with settings you could specify the contracts 
ID of the name register contract. Mm -hmm. So there was this little name name coin like uh, contract created by uh, by Gavin Wood, mm -hmm. and it is also embedded in the in the client. So what you could do is you could uh, register your own name and com com and connect it to your to your preferred uh, uh, Ether address. And then if you wanted to send a transaction, you could just type the name instead of having to type in the address. And here you would specify yeah. to which which is the authoritative contract to that is used for lookup for lookup purposes. Mm -hmm. But I think actually that this contract it doesn't exist in this version of the network. Maybe you can look if we see. So if you scroll way to the to the left, what, what does it start with? The name register contract? It's I see four four F but it, oh no, eight F F nine. So if you go to the contracts pane, is there a contract with uh, 8 FF9? Mm, no, don't see it. So it doesn't work. So it's not yet. Uh, it's not there in this uh, in this version. I think that's a fancy way of saying that it doesn't work. Not yet implemented. Patch is welcome. What does preview do? So we already said that to make a contract. So what if I preview a transaction? Can I do that to myself? Will it go through automatically if I preview it? I'm, well, it's... I'm not sure it works actually in, in network mode. Well, it looks like... Oh, okay. Uh, so you could see yeah. what would happen uh, if this transaction would go through, right? So you're... No, really. No, because it looks like I get an extra no, thousand but... finny in each wallet. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looks like I just mined another block. There you mined it. So it, the transaction that we're waiting for, it's removed from the pending list. Ah, uh, finally, yes. And your 4-2 account got uh, rewarded thousand finny. Mm -hmm. And you paid 10 finny as transaction fee. So that's why you have the 3490 instead of 3500. Wow, I'm rich now. I think what's important to uh, to to notice that this is still under heavy development and uh, with, with new versions of the proof of concept, typically the entire blockchain will be reset and everybody will lose their, 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 ba their balances that they had already. Besides for testing purposes, there's not a lot, lot of usage to, to doing actual mining. Mm -hmm. So your, your riches are only uh, temporary. I think we sort of see how this all works. So I'm excited to see where it'll be in a couple months, a couple weeks. Okay, excellent.